MP Karunya Rao and I'm here with an all new episode of Brandstand, your go-to show for the latest from the ad, marketing and media world. And since Women's Day is just a couple of days away, we at Brandstand decided to salute girl power in the NM sector in this episode. Maxis's global CEO speaks on the existing gender gap in the industry and her plans for the agency network. And industry insiders give their top picks for the most women-friendly ads. Let's take a look at the top news of the week gone by. Arena Media, a part of Havas Media Group, announced the win of Bagri's India Limited, a leading brand of breakfast cereals and health foods in the Indian subcontinent. The brand was won after a multi-agency pitch. The integrated media mandate will include traditional as well as digital and mobile duties and the account will be handled from the Gurgaon office of Arena. Contract Advertising announced the appointment of Arjun Sen who returns to the agency as Executive Vice President and General Manager Mumbai Operations. Arjun, who is back after a short gap of two years, has worked on some of the leading brands of the agency such as Cadbury, Shopper Stop, Murphy Richards and Bajaj Electricals amongst others for six years. Maxis India launched Maxis Kaleidoscope, a unique booth-based planning tool. The web-based tool is expected to enable brands in India to align their communication bases, the emotional and behavioral parameters of the audience. The tool measures parameters such as share of mood, receptivity of audience and appropriate moment for engagement from a brand and audience perspective. This is Maxis India's second initiative on behavioral mapping, the first being Moribus, first of its kind behavioral sciences lab by a media agency in partnership with the Mumbai University. The Walk 100, an annual ranking of the world's 100 best campaigns and companies based on their performance, ineffectiveness and strategy competitions has named Mullen Lo Alintas Group India the top creative agency in the world. The agency is the first to claim the number of one position for two consecutive years. Additionally, the Mullen Lo Group Global Network has retained its fourth place position as top creative network for the second year in a row. The much-awaited union budget presented by Finance Minister Arun Jaitley on Monday did not bring much cheer to the media and entertainment sector. Save some duty relief on set-up boxes and the hope that spends will increase, given some relief for the rural and startup sectors. But there's the equalization levy or what's being called the Google tax of 6% that took some by surprise. Any Indian pair making a payment for online advertisement to the foreign company not having a pay in India would be under an obligation to withhold this levy at the rate of 6% and deposit to the government. It would be interesting to see whether these foreign company will bear this tax and accept the lower margin or will pass on to the Indian pair, thereby resulting in the additional advertisement cost to them.